Hello and welcome from St Peter's Church in Walesbourne. My name is Tony. This video is for RE homeschooling for young people in years 3, 4, 5 and 6. Today's passage is based on the parable of the lost sheep, a story Jesus told to teach us about how everybody is important to God. So, whenever we read the Bible we should think about three things. First, what's important about this passage? What's the main point it's trying to make? Secondly, what does it mean? And this includes thinking about what it meant at the time that it was first said and first written down. That helps us to understand what it means. And thirdly, what does it mean for me personally? How do I apply that in my life? What is it asking me to do? Some dishonest people and some sinners were gathering around to hear Jesus. But the Pharisees and the teachers of the law muttered, Why is Jesus letting bad people sit and eat with him? So, Jesus told this story to show how much he cares for those who need him. There was once a shepherd who had a hundred sheep. The shepherd was a good shepherd and cared for all his sheep. Every day he would count them into the sheepfold. 97, 98, 99, 100. But one day, he found that one of the sheep was missing. It was getting dark. Should the shepherd wait and look for the missing sheep in the morning? No, the sheep was in danger now. What if wild animals found him? The shepherd made sure that all the other sheep were safe, and then he went searching for his lost sheep. The shepherd looked high and low and searched everywhere the lamb may have wandered. Although he already had 99 sheep back in the sheepfold, he did not give up looking for the one that had wandered off. And at last he found him. The shepherd was overjoyed to have found the hundredth sheep. He put him on his shoulders and he carried him back to the sheepfold to join the others. Then he called his friends and had a party to celebrate finding the lost sheep. So what did Jesus mean when he taught this? What's important and what does it mean for you? It's interesting in the story, it starts because people criticise Jesus for being with sinful people. The people who thought they were good, the religious leaders, looked down on the people that they thought weren't as good as them. So the parable of the lost sheep is teaching us that everyone is important to God. You see, the religious leaders criticising didn't understand something very important. You see, there is a problem. There is us and there is God. But between us, there is a chasm, which is sin. The wrong things we do. Now, the religious people thought they could just simply cross this simply by doing more good things. But this will never reach all the way across the chasm because no one can be as perfect as God. No one can be perfect. So God solved this problem by bridging the gap with Jesus. He died to take our sin, and then we can get access to God through him. Now you may have wondered, why does the shepherd leave his 99 sheep in the sheepfold and go and search just for one sheep? Well, what Jesus is telling us here is that every single person matters. He doesn't leave one behind. He wants to cover that chasm of sin for every single person so that every single person can go to heaven and be with God. You see, the parable shows Jesus is the shepherd in the story and in the same way that the shepherd loves his sheep and cares for them, Jesus loves all human beings and cares for all of them. So that is kind of the central meaning of the Christian faith. In fact. That's the end of our video today. There are some activity sheets to go with these. So if you would like to have the activity sheets, then send me an email. My email address will be in the descriptions at the bottom. And thank you for joining us. Hope you have a great day. See you all soon. Thanks for coming.